Hey guys, um, I'm Lacey Porn with Peacock Interiors. Um, thank you for watching this video. It's a new thing I'm trying out, uh, vlogging. Um, I had a whole post created about wallpaper and it was a slideshow and all these pretty pictures and I looked at it again and thought, that's really boring and really lame. So I thought I would give this a try um, and just do a video about just one wallpaper book that I have and maybe I'll do like one wallpaper book per video every once in a while. I know it's been a while since I've posted anything on social media. I've been super busy so um, I'm just gonna give this a shot. We're gonna talk about the wallpaper in this book and I really want you to see how um, how the light reflects off of some of these wallpaper samples because you just can't see that all the time in all of the pictures that I have and even pictures that I try to take. It just doesn't do it justice. So hopefully this gives you an idea. So I wanted to talk to you today about TaylorMade. This is a sample book by WallQuest and it is, it's meant to be marketed to men and maybe the bachelor, um, but I think it's very versatile and there are tons of things that you could do with this wallpaper, tons of uses for it and tons of people who would love it. So that said, you know, all man stuff, but still very versatile. The first sample in this book is this beautiful argyle, and it's made with kind of a string surface, so the light kind of reflects off of it, and you can kind of see how it looks on the wall. And we'll get to different colorways that this comes in, but that's just kind of the introductory page. This is one of my favorite samples in the book. It's got that string texture, but the strings, if you can see, the strings are going one way in some of the patches and the other way in some of the patches, you know, in a checkerboard pattern, I guess. And so it's so beautiful the way the light reflects off of this. We've got like the navy, which is very in right now, and it's just such a beautiful way to make a room feel warm and cumbersome. Um, and if you have the right amount of lighting, it, it would be great. You know, if you don't have that much lighting, I would add this and then also consider it adding more lighting. But if you can see, it also comes in a beautiful gray and then also kind of like a warm white and like a white gray and then a darker gray. And it's so beautiful. It's just, it's kind of a tone on tone, if you can see that. And it would just make any room pop and add so much dimension to the walls. Ooh, this is one of my favorite samples too. So this hound's tooth is Aside from, you know, stripes and polka dots, this is one of the most classic patterns. It's so beautiful, it's so intricate, and usually you don't see it at this scale. So it's been blown up and it's so pretty. It almost looks a little bit uh, pixely, like the digital age or whatever. Um, but you can see it comes in like this, like gold color. And then like in a white, a beige, and then a gray too. And it's just so pretty. Like if you can see, see if I can move this up a little bit further. Like it's beads that are here. So they really reflect the light beautifully and they just, again, they add so much depth. Here's a picture of what it looks like on the wall. Doesn't do it justice whatsoever though. Here's another color of the Argyle nice blue. Blue is very in right now. And then here's another sample and it is a uh, herringbone. And if you can see it's that same string and you just can't see it very well. There you go. And of course this comes in different colorways throughout the book but it's very very pretty and it's just it's such a subtle pattern but it still adds so much to your walls, way more than paint ever would, even though I really love paint. What else we got here? So here are more, you know, 
more colorways. This is that herringbone here, like in a beige, and then in a charcoal. Very pretty. And then we have pink argyle. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. And then this is just a grass cloth, just of, you know, reds and grays. And it's just kind of not really much of a pattern at all. It's just kind of nice, very subtle. Here's another pattern of the herringbone. And it's like a gray and a white, or gray and cream. So it's just a little bit of contrast, but just still something, you know. And in this book, there's also plaids. And it's kind of a nod to the 90s, but in a very updated way. So there are different colors of that plaid. Like this red, white, and blue plaid is one of my favorites in this whole book. It's just so pretty. It's so simple. You have to make sure you get it hung up straight because otherwise it's not going to look good. And then we have one that's more of a blue. And then more of a, a little bit more solid of a pattern here. And then another form of blue just with a white background and then a couple different colors of blue in the actual pattern. Aside from that plaid, there's also this. This is just a classic plaid, I think. It's so nice. It's got different varying degrees of gray, and it's just so beautiful. It just, oh, that would be so pretty on a wall. Let's see. Yeah, here's that same plaid in more of a lighter colorway. And you can kind of see how that looks in the picture. Again, doesn't do it justice. But it is nice that they have pictures, so you can kind of see what it looks like. What else do we have here? Yeah, just a color, a couple more of the grays and beiges in those. A little bit of blue in it. Oh, yes. This is what I was looking for. Another example of houndstooth. Such a classic pattern. So beautiful. Gray and white. Of course, classic, um, uh, excuse me, houndstooth is black and white, you know, from the 30s and 40s. But this is just such a great play on it. And you can see, I mean, we've got the sharp dressed man and it's, you know, in his closet and everything. But this is a pattern that could be on anybody's wall in any room because it's so beautiful. And this is again that kind of string, that grass cloth texture. And then we just have different, different colors of grass cloth. Grass cloth has been around forever. It's another classic type of wallpaper no matter you know what color you want or what pattern it comes in it's just it's just classic it's been around forever and I think this is one of the things that if you chose to put on your wall anything in grass cloth or anything in houndstooth um, it's just it it just won't it won't age easily and it'll look great forever And herringbone, also a very classic pattern. So you can see it comes in charcoal, but then I can get it in everything, even this lovely burnt orange. Um, burnt orange is one of my least favorite colors, so I'm not so sure I would be pushing that one so hard, but even this green, I don't like green very much, but that is beautiful. And it would be so rich on one wall, so pretty. I think that's about it. Yeah, just a, just a couple more, you know, colorways of um, 
plaids and just of the grass cloth in general. Just to kind of show you how many different options there are in this book. So I hope you enjoyed this. 10 minutes is a long time. So if you're still with me, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, but if you are interested, please give me a call. Um, I'll bring all my books. Uh, and we can have a blast going through all of the wallpaper books and seeing what would work best um, in your house. So give me a call. My number is 402-750-3906 um, or visit my website peacockinteriorsne.com. Thank you. See you later.